really like, good. I don't know. Kirby. The thing is, when poor kids I'm surprised racing, you don't know about it. They censored the I know about it. things, oh, but they went that's... hard on the intros. Like, the intro was so good. The Shaman King intro when unnecessarily chaotic. It was too good. You remember Chaotix? Chaotic was amazing, and I would love to be in a chaotic campaign. I I remember also, what was that other one? There's a chaotic tabletop system. I'd be down. I remember the video games for that. Dude, like Beyblade and stuff like that. Like. Bahamut. So glad Shaman King got a, a remake. Bionicle was going oh, yeah, crazy back Shaman then. King. I was happy about that. Oh my god. Take me back. Bionicle, I feel like, got an entire generation into All American Rejects. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not exactly sure if I understand, but I like where you're going. They had a, uh, a commercial where the uh, the song Move Along. Fucking played for it, and it was a Bionicle commercial. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Movies went uh, kind of hard for a bit. And I think it was a commercial for the movie. It, it, it's amazing what they were able to do with, like, so little for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Me and Mike are just girls. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, girls don't play with Legos and Bionicle. I see how it is, but but well, they do play with dice for D and D. So in that case, we have a party. Speaking of which, w- welcome all, uh, all, 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 all welcome to Dungeons and Devil Fruits One Piece D and D. I am your DM Orion, and with us we have Micah as Akisu. Uh, Scrim Bimbus as Snyder, Sion as Chibiusa, and Hello. my dear co host Sam as Tonga Wirio. Uh, where last we left off with you guys, we had a quite the interesting session. Uh, it was an interrogation session of the Beaver Man. And instead of going for the old good cop, bad cop routine, you guys decided to do something a little unorthodox. You decided to uh, have a bad cop, uh, hey, Terminator style, uh, come with me if you want to live. Let's get the fuck out of here. And then, Good cop, rad cop. Yeah, good cop, <laughs> rad cop. <laughs> Never saw it coming, let's be real. Just neither did we. Uh, to be fair, like... Uh, Chibi was the only one that he didn't really get eyes on during that fight. Mm-hmm. Well, she's fast as fuck. And I got fur. The one in the thing. Yeah. One in the thing. <laughs> he saw everybody else. <laughs> fur on fur crime. <laughs> yeah, you know, the, you don't want to look at the FBI statistics for uh, the, the crime and fur communities. Just, just saying. It's a it's a rough thing. It's ever since they started introducing Rumble Balls to the, the to the Zo community. <laughs> uh, Chopper did develop something like a Rumble Ball for them, so that they can achieve their uh, their Sulong form without a full moon. So I'm excited for that. Yeah, I, I haven't seen it used yet. Like I think that's on like a the next episode. So I, I'm almost up to date. But after that, Chibi got into the big party meeting thing with all the zoo pirates. And y'all decided to follow suit, leaving Rory behind to guard the ship. Like a good little boy. <laughs> uh, Akisu there as well. Yeah, I stayed. Oh, did you stay? I, th- I thought you were with everybody else. I don't. She would uh, stand <laughs> out. Pretty yeah, pretty. I feel like it'd be hard to hide a twelve foot woman. Didn't go back to the uh cave. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, you to go get Darius, I think. Yeah. Okay. So we'll start off with her over at the cave with the Darius. Darius. <laughs> you know Daria. Darius. Darius. <laughs> I, I, I've I've heard so many people just use the name Darius, like it's just so fancy, you know. 
Durian. Okay. So Lil B. You you make your way over to the uh little uh a little shed like structure that leads down into their uh, subterranean warehouse. Getting there, not too big an issue. But a as you uh get get in, you just open the door, walk down. Uh, you, you turn the lights on as you go down the stairs. Uh, uh, given your size, like what you just you can go like four stairs at a time. <laughs> so, Dar. Once you get down in, you you find uh, Darius just kind of like sitting on a barrel because you guys had communicated that you were going to uh, pick him up uh, previously, correct? Uh, I thought I remembered something like that. Yeah, I think so. No, I think we told him that we were like gonna have him do something for us. Yeah. Yeah. Eye on it, make sure no one comes by. You know, if you see anyone call us on the transponders, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she's. I think she put an alarm on it. Yeah, yeah. So, with the the trap set, I guess uh, you don't necessarily need to keep Darius there then. So, so for drivers, especially I got eyes on the beaver guy. So. Yeah. All right. So. What do you do? The the warehouse is all yours. I'm there. Yep. Uh, I'm just gonna start grabbing shit. <laughs> okay, you're making just like another one more run with it. Yeah. Okay, so you, you go up to the uh, wall where uh, you, you see little Darius just kind of like huddled up in a corner next to a transponder snail that you guys left him with. And he's just kind of like uh, peeking out. He's Aki said, "What do you? You're you're back so soon. Is it yeah, I'm just go? getting some more supplies. Honestly, yeah, you can come with me because I have this alarm set. Uh, yeah, I was getting a, getting a little scared. It's they're like little cave drippings, and I, I, I'm trying <laughs> to. I'm not gonna lie, I thought I saw a shark in in the grotto over there. It that scared me." In the water? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it might have been just my mind playing tricks on me. But then he just kind of like uh, grabs the snail and starts lifts it over his head. And this thing's like easily like the same size as him. So he just <laughs> starts scuttling down and then just jumps up and lands on your shoulder. Nice. And he just like kind of the snail like <laughs> Nice. Go yeah, you, you take the snail and you put it in your pocket. Okay, so I kind of scouted out some of these. Uh, well, I, I, I tried. Like, he points to a couple of them. Like, that one's got a bunch of guns. I, I don't know how useful that is. Yeah, I'll take some guns. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, well, what are two kids? Or something like that. Yeah. Is there anything else you know that are in these crates? One over there has a bunch of paper. It doesn't really seem too useful. Uh, and like the, the the one next to that, and he gestures that uh, because he was only really able to get peeks on the top shelf. That uh, that one seems to have a bunch of uh, some some green powdery stuff I'm not quite sure what that is all right well i'll grab the crate of guns and the green powder stuff and i'll leave the one that's filled with paper but if i can grab any other crates without getting through them let's I mean, just do can, that you're free to look around through crates oh shit yeah you're right <laughs> yeah <laughs> shit i Forget eyes. <laughs> you could kneel a little bit to see. But... <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Is there anything in particular that you're looking for? I don't know, like food and wood. <laughs> Consuming stuff to repair the ship that was <laughs> that just punched through. <laughs> like ship materials, I guess. Yeah. 
maybe things that are so valuable. I don't know. Yeah. Like guns. Yeah. Who <laughs> for gun dealing and arm and arm smuggling? Also, they can destroy us with guns if we have their guns. That is true. Yeah. You want me to roll? Uh, yeah. Give, uh, let's go for investigation. First roll of the night. A nine. Any bonuses to that? No. Okay. So with a nine, you kind of walk up and you just like kind of just prep, you rip open some of the crates. Just like, okay, mm, that one's all like rope. You, you shut it and move on to the next one. And you kind of open that up. More paper. Okay, so you open up a, a third one, and y you find a bunch of ammo, just like a bunch of like little ammo boxes. Nice. Then moving on to the, the, the fourth, into a bunch of just kind of a miscellaneous things. Like, it, it just seems like a bunch of like extra clothes and extra like little the little claw things that and uh cowls that the zoo pirates use steal all their clothes so they have to go naked <laughs> make them a streaking crew <laughs> you know what yeah i'll take uh the one filled with the mis miscellaneous stuff like the clothes, all right. The the guns, the ammo, and the rope. Okay, so you can you can easily you can carry two crates reasonably. Oh, two. Okay. But, but there's no reason that you couldn't like uh, just like dump some of one crate out and then just stuff a bunch of stuff from another crate. Or come back. Or use the rope to tie them together and drag them. Yo. <laughs> use your strength. Yeah, that's not obvious through town. Well, they... Yo, guys, I think people carry stuff all the time. <laughs> I mean, people do have to carry goods. It wouldn't be that. Yeah, but like if the zoo pirates was like. Oh my god, over has been wrecked. And then they asked the town, like, well, there was a giant woman carrying Ooh. multiple boxes with them. <laughs> nah, they there was this giant pink haired town. woman dragging your crate through town. Nah, I don't know what that was stupid. about. Ain't nobody stood <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know. Not if you know what's good for them. Well, you know what? I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> no, yeah. damn. All right. So, uh, how you want to do this? I want to tie all the crates together with the rope. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go. Uh, give me a survival oh, check. Train. See how. Uh, huh? you, uh, give me a survival check to see how well you tie these crates together. Yeah, get some good knots. Shit, I, I remember naughty days, action. I remember the days of D and D when rope, uh, where using rope was a skill <laughs> that you had to put points into. It really is a skill, to be honest. It really happens here. Right. So, you know what? Let me give you a point. So would that be with advantage? You know, Technically, if you know what? yeah, I'll go with that. I'll give you advantage for using rope. Okay, I'll look in. Twenty. Hey, Ooh, dirty twenty. Okay, so you you kind of like put all you take these four crates and. You just kind of like you make like this weird like om like two by two thing, and you just kind of wrap them all up with the rope in in such a way that it almost it forms kind of a backpack. Nice. So you heavy ass backpack. You, Fine. You'll be, you'll it's be like when you're going to school and you have nothing but books. <laughs> oh my God. It, it, it's like that one guy in one of those movies where like uh, he's got too much stuff in his bag but like he's got he's prepared for everything you fall over from the wind. yeah <laughs> like the the red-haired dude from hotel transylvania like he got the big ass backpack 
Okay, is there anything else that you're going to do while you're in there? What else is in there? Let's see, besides the table, a uh, little uh, snack drinking area, and the submarine. I'm eat their snacks. <laughs> Disrespectful. <laughs> what a petty fucking thing. <laughs> it's like walking up into someone's house smoking their weed. Yeah, smoking smoking their weed. one thing, but like leave the worst one. <laughs> Yeah. Like, leave obviously anything that's expired, but like. Put on their fucking... table. Yeah. yeah. Anything that needs to be refrigerated, leave it out. On the table? Yeah. <laughs> their snacks and shit on their table. Eat their snacks and shit on their table. <laughs> Amazing. Do I need a roll for that? <laughs> no. The roll <laughs> for that. That's hilarious. I need to. Just... No, listen. I want to roll for like the perfect pile of shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, like, perfect coil. Oh my god. I'm gonna make that a raw constitution check. <laughs> Where is it? That's so great because my constitution has a plus three. Oh, oh, hold on, wait. We have to come back here to get the submarine. <laughs> we... oh, we're just gonna walk. <laughs> Tonga and I are gonna walk in and be like, "Why the fuck is there shit on the table?" <laughs> oh my god! And Akisu's just gonna be sitting there, kind of like, "What? Did your shit like normally lie? We have long legs." I mean, <laughs> like long splash, how big? What's the circumference of that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think the average man, the oh, average human, it's like four or five inches. Like, why do you know this? Because there is a meme about putting raccoons in assholes because raccoons okay. can smit in small spaces. We've all heard this. <laughs> I would say that the yeah, point is that Akisu can absolutely fit a raccoon, but <laughs> uh, that aside, though, um, that aside, <laughs> I rolled twelve. By the way, your camera paused, and you were like, "Yeah, no, <laughs> no." Now we need fan art of Akisu and the raccoon. <laughs> Please don't. Dude, if someone fucking sends Akisu fan art of shitting raccoons, it's like a butt, it's like a tail butt plug, but the plug is actually just a raccoon. You guys are something. Else. So, Akisu, <laughs> go and like a you raid their little pantry, you grab like a some pretzels, some little honey buns, and like a yeah, other little snacks and shit. Like, it, it, yeah, so you're just kind of like snacking a little bit, and you're like, mm, okay, I really want to spite these fuckers. And like, as you're kind of like reaching for a <laughs> bag of chips, you're like, fuck it. Over coming you back. Gotta, like, go over to the table. <laughs> the the squad. Like, oh. and, uh, it's crazy. <laughs> uh, damn. Well, with a 12, that like, you kind of like, you're really kind of straining yourself and struggling. Really. This was an impromptu shit. So you didn't, you, you didn't you have need to. You didn't have to, but then you did. So you just kind of like, and just like, boom, just like a couple of plops. It's not your best. It, 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 you kind of look down, and you're just like, I've done better. <laughs> But g given your sheer size, your heart like, it's it. still enough to be like, who the fuck shit on our table? <laughs> Why was the notable this? shit? It gives like that scene in Ted where she's like, is that a shit? Who <laughs> shit on my floor? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so th that's that's there on the table. You done did shat on the table. I done did shat on the table, dog. <laughs> this is part of her captainly duties. <laughs> duties, huh? <laughs> we got him. All I can think of is Luffy asking Brooke if he shits or not. <laughs> oh my god. That's gotta be one of my favorite things in the entire world. Do you poop? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, and, he, and he in fact does. 
garbage. This it's means I'm literally forty. <laughs> you need tissues. And Darius just kind of looks like, why would I have tissues? <laughs> I'm talking to Siana. <laughs> Darius <laughs> has been like kind of like sitting on your shoulder the entire time, and he he's a little put off by like the whole. Not on his shoulder while she takes a dump. <laughs> Sitting on the shoulder. Like, sitting on the shoulder. And he, like, he's no like, privacy. He doesn't have a, He's just like, what? He's, he's at a loss for words. Is this what you people do for fun? I'm just going to ignore that he's just like <laughs> stunned and just going to go on like nothing happened. He just doesn't exist. <laughs> You're like, you want a honey bun? You're right, well. <laughs> you want to bite? bite? Hmm? Uh, you you know what? Not not now. <laughs> and, and he just kind of like, how do I put this? It didn't wash your hands. Suit yourself. <laughs> That's great. So I'm gonna shove like five more honey buns in my mouth. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. So <laughs> you've raided their pantry for honey buns. You got your little uh, crate back, Pat, and, and you just kind of like start marching on out the. You just like the stride of confidence. <laughs> Such is a captain. Yeah. You gotta loosen the load before you pull all that weight. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm also going to shove some pockets so I can eat on the road. I thought you were going to say I'm going to shove some snacks in my ass. I don't know why. <laughs> you know, context is everything here. Okay, so while Akisu uh, drops off a load at the ship, <laughs> <laughs> How are Snyder and Tonga faring? But <laughs> okay, so I believe our plan was to kind of we were we were heading to the site of the meeting where PB is to kind of be in the area to provide backup if she needs. Yeah, kind of like staking out the area. Yeah, right. From probably like a bush or a tree. Yeah, maybe like 30, 40 feet out of, you know, like the the area of where the party is. So probably like on the outskirts of like the the lit up area. Yeah, because like they got bonfires and stuff going on around there. And it is like it's been getting dark. The, the sun has sort of set a little while ago. A while you're and honestly, it's if we're, so, so if we're there and we're pulling up and we're sneaking and stuff, I'll actually go ahead and pass my find familiar for the first time. Uh, As we're kind of sitting, it was like off skirts bush i'm gonna pull out one of my swords and i'm gonna kind of pull it out in front of me i'm gonna hold my hand to like the big markings of my chest and i'm gonna have this like blue light transfer into my hands and then i'm gonna push it into my blade and then we're gonna watch as it kind of like melts into a puddle on the ground and then forms into like a little metallic dragon yeah and then it like then i'll send it off to to watch the camp is that yeah and that's my zoan type ability yeah from my devil yeah he's able to infuse the green blood into uh, an object now to have it just become a familiar. Oh, my, oh, my weapon, weapon can turn it into a uh, familiar. Hmm. So if I see it, I won't know it's yours because you're familiar. That's correct. 
per visual, it looks like, yeah, yeah. so it looks like a, like, silvery, metallic, um, serpentine dragon with, like, a soft blue glow. So, you may recognize the color in the light. That kind of comes with my abilities. I mean, it's just blue, so. Yeah, it's probably like, not. Maybe. I mean, you know me, so I don't know, maybe. But, but yeah, yeah, I want to send that out and uh, have it or Chibi and kind of like get a good eye on her and stuff. Okay. So it kind of flies up overhead and like. The people uh, in this party is like it's kind of like flying around. Uh, a couple of kind of like look at it, and be like, "Dude, that is a fucked up looking rat." Well, well hold on. I don't want it to be like super visible. Send them like up high. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like from as far as they can tell, they they just see like this little bat in the sky. Yeah, I can see it kind of look like a bat. Uh, and you you see. At least uh, two hundred and fifty, uh, at least two hundred and fifty pirates in the area, just kind of like strolling mm. about. Uh, little groups of them drinking and uh, just kind of pattering about, talking, eating. Uh, you got some bonfires going on in the area, mm. and there are three ships that are docked. That I didn't really put them on the map outside of the one, just because of. <laughs> me not being <laughs> I didn't have as much map prep as I would have liked. But All right. Okay. But just like at the end of each of these uh, two dogs, just I imagine that there are, is like a little a, a galleon there. All right. A alongside that third ship that's just a little little ways out. So you guys are I can't imagine. up on the yeah, they were like right woods over uh, area over here? Yeah, yeah, that's right where I want to be. And I wanted to send my familiar kind of like, you know, searching the outskirts and then kind of swooping over, giving like a good look over in the middle, kind of counting everybody, seeing if I can pick out Chibi. Just kind of, you know, yeah, just kind of like see the vibe of the park. All right. So if I recognize any notable yeah. figures or like that. So far from what you can do. Do believe I can look through uh, his perception. Yeah. So you're able to see and survey the area. There's plenty of these, uh, just the typical cowl, claws, and pistol uh, setup that most zoo pirates carry. A lot mm -hmm. of them seem to be relatively out of shape, out of sorts, uh, just having a good time then in addition to that as you're kind of like flying around you do notice that chibi has kind of like uh, ducked herself behind one of the two buildings over here uh, away from the mass of the party and as a pull yourself out if you want what? pull out your token what pull you could pull out your token from the thing you can see like where you are. Yeah, I'll, I'll have her position herself just because she is there, and she said she had like ducked behind a little spot there. Yeah. Now, oh. Chibi, you you've been kind of like uh, trying to lay low. You, you've seen like a bunch of these guys just kind of like mulling about doing their thing. Nothing uh, too out of the ordinary, you know. Pirates just doing uh, piratey party things. But uh, you did notice in your time that you've spent here during the hour or so waiting for everyone else to arrive that they were setting up a bit of a banquet table near the, uh, uh, not too far from the docks, like uh, right around uh, the, where the biggest mass of the pirates are. As well as streamers uh, and, and like a, a banner that says, Happy Birthday, Captain. No, oh, it's his birthday party. <laughs> We're gonna crash that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, ain't no captains having birthdays today. <laughs> yeah, fuck. This is your death day, not your 
It's a death day party. Wasn't that a thing in Harry Potter? Yeah, it was. Weird. Fixing my insulin. There we go. Uh, How dare you be healthy? Yeah, I know. How dare you be diabetic? Yeah, you know. <laughs> I bet Matt Mercer isn't diabetic. <laughs> That's what makes him a good DM. It's the most like weird insult I've ever. His diabetes doesn't his workflow. I bet Reddit Lee Mulligan doesn't have to deal with diabetes. His insulin works fine. Right. How many times per day can I use the Zoan type ability? Computer. Computer. Let's see. You took it as a infusion type thing, didn't you? Yeah, my zone type infusion. I like my monkey. Let me look here because, like, it's under your features. I like monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> Monkey. Okay, so it says here. Maybe we just. I don't know if it's go once per day, once for a long rest. Okay. The different one my spells. It just seems like I feel really good walking down the street after taking a shit on their table. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. You just got this fucking strut of just a fucking. Just... You almost literally shit on their cornflakes. Yeah, I don't think there's a limit to how many times you can do it. Okay, nice. But you can only have oh, yeah, like a free time. time. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So, um, yeah, yeah I kind of give them like a good 20 minutes to kind of survey the area, kind of see Chibi. I'm going, I'm going to like slowly let it kind of like land like over here and just kind of like stare at her. And kind of like blink blue. Okay, so Chibi, uh, you're just kind of minding your own business, uh, keeping your head down as you wait for your uh, companions to show up. And as, as the party's getting ready to happen, you do know that the captain and uh, a couple of his uh, officers have decided to have a bit of a meeting on the ship in the meantime while everything while everybody's waiting. And and as you're just kind of like uh, you know passing the time, doing what whatever you're whatever you do, th this uh, little silvery dragon thing kind of like lands in a tree uh, across from you and gives you like the little blink. Can I like talk to these guys next to me and be like, "Do you guys see that?" Yeah, you can go right ahead. <laughs> well, we'll be like. Point, like, look at that thing over there. What is that? I don't know. I think I should go check it out. I don't want it to hurt the boss. Oh. Now the boss could eat it. Yeah, Ew. yeah the boss could eat it. <laughs> you really think the boss would want to eat that? Oh, the boss has <laughs> got cake iron. and stuff. But I kind of like he's got an iron stomach. Wow, <laughs> my perception real quick. I'm gonna look at the Snyder and be like, "Oh, I think I might have messed up." Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Eyes go back over. I just gloss over again. I go back into the dragon. I'm on way. Uh, getting away. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna hide. I'm gonna hide. <laughs> oh, it's getting away. And one of one of the uh, pirates uh, takes out a gun and takes a shot at it. He he he's drunk, so yeah. That's a nat one. <laughs> Oh, yikes. So he, Shoots he, 
<laughs> kind of like that goes out, and then like uh, as he's about to shoot it, like uh, he he kind of like pulls it back, and then the gun just like goes off in his hand. It starts spinning wildly around his finger, <laughs> and then he, he's like, "Holy shit!" and just chucks it in the ground. <laughs> And then like, his buddy's like, what the fuck you doing okay. shit and drinking? And just kind of like punches him in the arm. It must have been that weird bird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like. Yeah, I got to go shoot talking low. over this dude up. Why do I have to talk to him? <laughs> I guess I'm getting a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> oh, Scott Thor like reforms. <laughs> I, I love this. I find this fucking hilarious. If you lose your familiar, do you? While it's summoned, I don't. But it attacks with me. Um, it can make separate attacks if you focus, if you focus on it. Like, uh, you'd have to give yeah. your attack action yeah. for that. It's a full familiar. Yeah, I was looking at the stuff for that. It has the same um, death as, like, a sprite. No, sprite, sorry, a pseudo-dragon. Hmm. That's still pretty cool, though. Yeah. Yeah, you can forego one of your own attacks to have it make one attack as with its reaction. So that's how that works. Mm. So, so that's the plan. Fuck. Um... We're figuring that out. <laughs> Aki Sui hit me on the ship. <laughs> I was not going to have you talk to it. <laughs> so, uh, as you're talking What's that weird uh, fucking bird? That was not familiar. I can speak telepathically through it. So, then I can well speak through it. So, like. I was gonna have her speak up to it, you know. Get her, get her attention. <laughs> you tell me what the plan was. <laughs> I was trying to go up to you and be like, "Let's get the fuck out of here." You don't know what <laughs> So, uh, Snyder, <laughs> uh, being from a sky island and, and having had a devil fruit yourself, but. Uh, do Sky Islanders have a sense of what Devil Fruit are, or do they just see it as just straight magic? It's kind of just like straight magic. Because <laughs> like like out of character with the whole Anel thing, they 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 thought of him as a god because of his ability to use lightning and control it. That's so true. like it it would I feel like it would be kind of like a get like a magical gift from like whatever day. All right, but because there's no real like sea in I Island, so there wouldn't be exactly drawbacks. But I did some research on that. Like, Devil Fruit users can drown in the White Sea. Hmm. It's very interesting. I was reading on that the other day. <laughs> like you, your ability is to fly. Your only stress is drowning. Uh, there, there are a number of devil fruit users that can fly. So, <laughs> there, there are a few. So, uh, moving back to the ship with Akisu, you, you. As you're on your you're on your way back, you do see a, a, a small a group of, uh, a, a, like at least like five of them. You see five of the zoo pirates uh, rushing past you in the street to 
towards where you were you just came. Ah, uh, to be honest. So they're going to the cave. Yes. Okay. This one's as they uh, uh rush by, like I can't believe we have to go get the reserve booze. Like such a pain in the ass. Did we grab that the first trip? I don't think you guys did. No. Like just uh, more like it's utilitarian okay. supplies. This is good. We grabbed some shit. I think we did grab some booze. We just didn't grab all of it. Yeah, like a couple. Of Does Tonga have like a giant barrels worth? My own. Need it. Yeah, like Tonga had his fruit. Drew and Tonga brews. So yeah, our Tonga brews booze. All right. Hold on. They uh, kind of rush past you. Not really too concerned. And you, you managed to make your way back to the ship without incident. Well, what's your next? Yeah, thing? you got to take a shit scot free. <laughs> Charmin free. Ooh. Yeah, but they're gonna they're gonna see my and they might think the giant woman carrying crate supplies that they passed on the way there. What if like they didn't Notice stuff was missing, but they noticed the shit. <laughs> <laughs> so distracted by the shit that they won't even notice. Who left this giant piece of shit on our table? <laughs> that, that's the story. We're just keeping it. They don't tell you guys about. This shit's just I'm right. With the door. Yeah, so you got a little bit of time before they kind of get get there. So. Kind of like just hustle a little bit more. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, back with Chibiusa as uh, Akisu uh, finishes up her drop off. <laughs> okay. after, after I finished my drop off. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right, uh, Chibi. Uh, what, what's the word? What's the, what you doing? So I'm basically just sitting here waiting for something to happen. All right. Because like, well, well, I'm also looking for opportunities to leave without being like suspected. All right. So as you guys are kind of, well, you're, you're, well, you're on your own, obviously. So you see, like, as, as the as the clock keeps ticking and ticking and whatnot, there more of the crew starts assembling at, at the party. And there, there's some stragglers here and there. Some kind of like bringing uh, small casks and uh, grumbling as they do. Like, Ugh, someone just had to steal our shipment. Fuck. We would have had this party all ready for the cat by now. Are they passing me? Hmm? Are, they... Are they passing by me? Yeah, yeah. Like the, you, you see them, you kind of like hear some people grumbling about some things as they pass by. And a lot more of them are starting to kind of culminate around the the giant table in area because it's kind of set up almost like a like a buffet table <laughs> with like a with a whole little stand area for I, I I guess where that's supposed to be like a whole bunch of casks and barrels and stuff right there but uh, beyond that it's kind of set up in such a way that it's a uh, in direct line of sight to the uh, to the big uh, galleon that's kind of parked in the harbor, and you, you can see right where like there's some decorations and stuff that that seems to be designated for the captain to show up. Okay. And as everyone's kind of like uh, coming together, you, you kind of get the feeling that something is about to happen. I'm gonna stay behind as much as I can without being too obvious that I'm like away from the group. All right, I'd say you absolutely are able to do that. Just kind of like uh, being passively stealthy. Yeah, hopefully you're still ducking behind this building. All right. So a as they kind of uh, culminate together, they're gathering up. They, you see, up on the. Uh, prow of the ship under underneath this little like a uh, banner thing. Hey kid, I don't need you over here. Go to bed. Uh, 
children. And well, you don't play with that. At this distance, would we hear any of this commotion? Uh, you can see as the, the, the ebb and flow of all the people kind of like culminating in one area. And uh, yeah, there, there's enough light in the area. So you can see that the familiar uh, face of the beaver man, Woodrow, kind of stepping out onto the, the prow. And uh, next to him, you see just this massive, absolute beast of a man. This, uh, the, the lion uh, dude, the, the captain of the zoo pirates. Duran Zoo. Okay. Can I, like, I recognize him? Yes, everybody on the island knows Duran Zoo. Okay. Is that the the lion that we saw? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. So definitely, definitely on seeing him, I want to send my familiar belt. Um. Then I'm just gonna have it. Yes, he is possible, but able to get close enough to where I can hear what they're saying. And next to him, you you also see. Uh, Almost kind of this guy that's got a kind of birdish face to him and like these very long legs that you could you would assume that this would be his uh, one of his his officers. Every captain's got their their right and left. Honestly, how hard would it be to get it to sneak like to Chibiusa and like? Hide in her clothes, and then I get to be, or kind of try and get it, uh, float down onto the roof above her. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I've, yeah. Right there. Okay. Okay. As sneakily as possible, I want to fly over and land above that roof. Okay. I'd say that you're able to do that without issue, because uh, all eyes are kind of being directed towards the the captain. Yeah, yeah. I want to get a good eyes and ears on the captain. Okay, so uh, oh, wait, are you talking about the uh, roof on the house that uh, near uh, Chibi or the? Where's the, where's the captain right now? Uh, he's on the, the he's on the ship. He's at the prow. Oh, by the boat. What is, what, is what is this right here? Uh, uh, oh, what do you think? This like part in the middle. Oh, that. In the it's middle? like the banquet table. Uh, that is like a big old bonfire. You see how uh, okay, okay. on that? Yeah, and I want to be on that roof for now. It was kind of like still in there, looking out, getting, getting a good fight on everything. Yeah, I'd say enough of these guys have. Uh, Moved their way over here. Hey, hey kids, stop messing with the mic. Okay, there we go. There we go. Kind of adjusting the movement there. I've got a token to use. Oh, for your little dragon dude? Yeah. Yeah, I I forgot to make one up this week. But we I forgot to. Yeah. Well, hey. That's so cute. You, you throw me something you want for it. Your background. I thought it was it looked like it would be. It's the meat oh, yeah. tribe. So it it is. Because they're all. Oh, I like it. I'm oh. trying to match my background to the. Events. Interestingly enough, I think that technically, uh, Chibi would not have met a dog storm or uh, or cat viper. Cat viper. I'm unaware of what that is. <laughs> That's the dog and the cat. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Dog with a mug and cat with chicken stick. Yeah, Drum <laughs> chicken stick. So Look of interest. Cat. Of the dukedom that that is the the. I don't even think they would have been born yet. No, no. What time period are you? Uh, they actually uh, spent some time sailing. Uh, 
I think that they yeah they, they spent a lot of time with yeah. uh no at this point in time they are hanging out on in Wano with oh yeah you're right yeah waiting with for, Odin yeah waiting for Odin. does that mean that like I would have heard stories in my village maybe um. Yeah, you would have heard of them, but never met them formally. I see. But but that's very off topic. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so uh, Tonga, are you going to convey? Are you conveying a message to uh, Chibi? Yeah, maybe get close enough. Yeah, I'd say you're close. And then I wanted, I wanted to speak to her, and like my voice will come out, and I'll just be like, "Hey, what's going on?" Chibi, how do you react? Don't panic. This is my familiar. I'm going to be like, I planted a seed of doubt in Woodrow's mind. And now I'm looking for an escape. When I look over to the, the ship, looks like the captain's coming. Woodrow mentioned wanting to notice me for my heroicness yeah for saving him how far away are you guys right on the outskirts maybe how far is this so is like everybody looking towards the ship at this point because they're coming out yeah so okay. so i kind of pause for a second about 300 feet out from your position i think i want to take the opportunity to like move around here like across like here and then here into the forest mm -hmm. like okay. stealthy yeah, yeah not very much familiar with you i know exactly where you are so like because i don't want to be noticed and i had already like told wardrow that i don't think i should be here anyway so maybe they would be yeah. anxious if i left uh well, the good old Irish goodbye. He was the Irish goodbye. It's I've like the opposite of, of the Irish. Have you, you never heard of an Irish goodbye? <laughs> it's just leaving without saying goodbye to anybody. I, I thought the Irish goodbye was like goodbye 50 times, but then continuing to talk. No, <laughs> no it's just it's be, knowing that you're like people know that you're at a park and then. You without telling, yeah, without telling anybody, you just kind of fade away and leave. I don't know. It, it sounds kind of ginky, an Irish goodbye. <laughs> well, my baby's just uh, crying in the background because she don't want to sleep. Do I have to roll for that? <laughs> I hope. No, um, you're actually uh you, you're fine for because your passive stealth is enough to be able to take it out of that without an issue yeah depends how irish i am i guess mm. <laughs> well unfortunately it depends how much bleed you got away at it a little i can more like curl up on your shoulder can i still see from here or is stuff blocking okay. okay so uh this whole area i vision is really good so like <laughs> Yeah, so you're able to see uh, because of all the light around here. Unless this is like cover at this point. Yeah, like the, the further out that you get, the more stealth you kind of are because like it's harder to see into the yeah. shadows for, for those people. I have um, dark vision if I'm looking through my familiar. It's up to like 120 feet. So like I can see easily up to here. Like, and also this way. Hey, so watch me leave because we were in the middle of a conversation my familiar is kind of, kind of hang on with you oh you're gonna leave the roof yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay yeah, on down. or or unless you also prefer that he's I mean, it's up to you you're familiar i mean if you, if you want to keep talking to him then i'll have to stay with you. yet another way to circumvent the transponder snails yeah. Yeah. All right. So as Chibi makes her way over there, the captain 
kind of makes his way out, and yeah. it, you you kind of hear everyone saying, "Captain, Captain, 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 yeah!" And they're just like kind of like getting all hyped up for it. And he just uh, kind of steps out, and he's like, "Hey, hey!" Uh, kind of like a, a like a WWE wrestler, and. <laughs> And as you look at him in his like half human, half uh, lion form, you see that he's kind of got like a bit of a like. Clearly, he was very muscular at some point and still is, but he's got, you you know, like when a bodybuilder kind of gets a bit of a dad bod gut, but like you can still see like the the pecs and muscles underneath. So it's just like yeah, like, yeah, he's like a really built. He's man, a little husky, you know. And, and as he's just kind of uh, coming out, he's like, yeah, 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 please, please, please. <laughs> All right, brothers. It's been a very fruitful year for us. We've made our money. <laughs> and we've had... We've managed to maintain control of this island as best we can. Given... Uh, our dear nemeses, the, the Tymon, we've we've kind of kept them at arm's length, lest they try to take our territory. And it, like you just hear like a big like uproarious laughter amongst the crowd. They're like, ah, no, no never. But the time to, according to, uh, according to dear Woodrow, we might have to. Finally, end our little piece of peace agreement here. When the the parties, everyone's like, kind of like looking at each other. We actually the fight, what? <laughs> like a lot of these people are. A, a lot of the zoo pirates are in their forties, and fifties. How how long ago was the war? You said thirty years. Uh, nineteen. Oh, nineteen. Okay. Close enough. <laughs> so, it, it's hard to place uh, this guy's age as he's like half lion, and like <laughs> uh, if you look a little closer, like you can kind of like uh, make out that like uh, uh, alongside his like luxurious mane of like long hair, uh, as he like kind of turns to it, you kind of like catch an angle and you see like a bit of a, like a a balding spot on top of his head. So it's like, oh, okay, he he's, he's getting up there in age. It is his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just like, all right, so what we're going to do is tonight we're going to party. We're going to party more than we usually do <laughs> because it's my birthday and, you know, you're, you all appreciate your good captain, don't you? And the, the, they just start cheering, like, yeah, yeah. And we've got some recent information. Woodrow, would you would you like to take it right from here, brother? And, and he just kind of like uh, kind of steps inside. And then you just see the uh, beaver dude. Well, it's we got a thing. And the, 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 the time man started... Sabotaging us, stealing our supplies, stealing our alcohol for this wonderful banquet. But they've got another thing coming. We know where well, their the ships are to one of their new allies, and our dear friend, the uh, Chibi Chibiusa, the bunny girl. She rescued me today. She rescued me from the clutches of at least fifty Thai man pirates on that ship. <laughs> Which they had ambushed us earlier with at, at least a hundred men. And I had to run for out of familiar's perception for a minute. I'm gonna look at Snyder. So they're giving their speech. Blah blah blah. blah, blah. The captain's a dickhead. Blah blah blah. blah. Woodrow is lying. Blah blah blah. blah. TV's lying. <laughs> You can tell that Woodrow is trying to cover his own ass because he knows he got beat by less than I'm listening and you're watching me just stand there blank faced. You can see like a bead of annoyance slowly growing more and more. 
<laughs> we were outnumbered, but we fought well, and I took at least 20 of them with me as I dove off the cliff. But I managed to survive long enough to bring you the message that this means war. And later, war. T tomorrow we'll fill you in on the specifics. But for tonight, we party in honor of our captain. <laughs> so drink hearty, me hearties. <laughs> and then he just like, it's like, boom. And then he turns ar around and everyone's like, oh, thunder tail, thunder tail. And he just like lets out like a, just a massive whop of his tail and just, it sounds like the crack of thunder across the entire bay and like being out uh, close to the water like the sound really carries so it's like you can see how he got the name Thundertail nice and, and as he looks out to the crowd and of course Ch Chibiusa come on up take take a bow my, my dear my dear, you, you're a hero to me. Moving up in the world. And just kind of looks out back. Looking for Chibi. And everyone just kind of like... Looks oh, fuck. Like... That's looking like Bush. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks around and she's like, Where'd you go? And she's like, kind of... He kind of squeaks. Ah, she must be shy, lads. She must be shy. <laughs> and then he just uh, kind of like slinks off. Hey! <laughs> nice. And then like uh, the lion dude just shows up one more time and he's like, let the party begin! And he just like takes like a mug and just slams it into the 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 deck of his ship. He's like, and like turns to the, uh, the uh, bird-faced man like, bring me another! And like he just kind of like jumps on down, uh, and like lands roughly, and like kind of like stumbles forward a little bit. It's uh, it's like it's like yeah, brothers, let's do it. And he just it starts just partying with the rest of them. So I got my sisters are done. I send my familiar back to Chibi, and like, and yeah, and yeah I assume she can hear from there. Yeah. But, you know, I'll go, I'll go back. back to her and say, so, what do you want? Maybe, maybe a sip. Chill back. You're just going to get drunk. Maybe we could poison him or something. <laughs> we could try to poison him, but I don't know if we can assassinate them with that, getting close to them. I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, some of these seem like the plan is working. Um, I think it's beneficial that everybody else doesn't see my face. All right. We can get out of here. Hmm. I can just kind of like use my familiar to guide you back to us. Yeah, I'll just go around. So you manage to go around. Everyone's drinking and making merry. They're they're not really too concerned about their surroundings uh, beyond the the light of the giant bonfire that they have. And uh, you meet up with the others. Is your familiar able to carry anything? It's the size of like maybe like a cat. Mm -hmm. Maybe like. A little bit smaller, like a small cat. Could you get your familiar to poison the drinks? It could. Because that would keep us away. And... Like, uh, poison the communal. Yeah, like well, it's really sneaky. And I can cast both lot of poison to poison that many people. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Well, I mean, if it would. Depending on the poison, it would dilute enough to have a small dose to affect everybody. At least they'd be sick. Got him. Sick or tired. <laughs> I think 
to do let that. them have the party. Let, let them get high on spirits and carry out their plans. Because they're all, you know, they're, they're already doing what we want. Yeah, that's true. If they feel like they're being attacked, so they're going to retaliate. Mm -hmm. So now we got to work on the other pirates, yeah? Hmm. Well, see what they're up to. But the war might happen on its own by itself, so we don't we need to do anything. Yeah, yeah honestly, we can kind of hang back for now. We have the ability to keep stealing their story if uh, they do not up the security, so. I mean, we got all the stuff. Go back and work on the ship for a while. Maybe get that finished. The problem is they know, they think that our ship is associated now. Maybe that's a push to get it done. <laughs> attack our ship. <laughs> we might attack our ship. Do pirates. Yeah. Because they think that we're associated with the TMI, you know? So let's finish our ship and move to a different part of the island. Yeah, I guess I could change some things to make it look different. Yeah, we could kind of like Stay let this way. play out for a bit and like come back. I don't know about all that. Someone might take the place before we can get to it. Yeah, true. You have to really keep an eye on the situation. See what they do maybe tomorrow. How are we going to get this reward? Like, what is it? Maybe gonna... we, we need them dead or alive. Captured or killed. But how are we going to get them if they're fighting each other? All we need to do is get the kill or get the capture when they're out there, you know, weakest. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, use this to take advantage of what they're doing. We may have competition. Mm, how but they won't be as in as we are. Yeah, that is true. We do have information. We set the plan and most we know what they're doing. We already got the spies in place. Yeah. We can do this, see? We got this. <laughs> Maybe you can get in on the team on Pirates since I think you're working for them already. That way we have eyes on the inside on both teams. Really frame them. Maybe I can uh, send my familiar into listen on their conversations tonight. Get the upper hand. Just kind of stay sneaky on scene, listen in. Mm -hmm. Or back to me. Or I can look through it and listen myself. You could. Sounds good. All right, so... What's the yeah. final game plan? So I think I'll, I'll do that. I'll bring, bring my familiar back to me after it you know leaves Chibi's side. Now to I'll give it like a specific instruction because it can kind of do its own thing. I'll tell it to find the captain, uh, to him, you know, as sneakily as possible, unseen. I want you to keep eyes on here for the rest of the night. And then report to me if anything happens. Or, you know, I have an telepathic link, so it can, like, you know, alert me or something. Yeah, so it gives you, like, a little nod, and it just uh, goes back to its little perch. Yeah. I'm just going to send it out to keep watch over the captain and the listen. Yeah. There, there's a big kind of, like, uh, it, it's a bunch of, it's a few hundred rowdy pirates, so... Whatever it's able to hear is going to be very garbled. Well, I wanted to specifically get close to the captain. And I mean, how how big is the range for it? Yeah, that's true. That's the real question. Because if so, if it has a long range, we could have it perch on the crow's nest of the ship. Well, that's the perception that I do, because I can look through it. And it also has its own perception. And I have a telepathic, like, communication with it. But I'm saying, like, how far could the summon technically, like, exist before dissipating? While your familiar is within 100 feet of you, you can communicate with telepathically. But it can exist, like, on its own. All and right. It... And then I can bring it back to me 
at any time. Or if it dies, it'll be dispelled and I'll know. I have a question. So when the people went to get the booze for the party, did um, Micah's thing go off and now it's no longer active? Yes. That as I, After a couple minutes of those uh, guys passing her, it does go off. Mm-hmm. And then it's like not going to go off ever again? Correct. Uh, yeah, it like dispels after that. Okay. Yeah, I, I believe it's after it's triggered. Either that or lasting eight hours. I, I'd have to look at the alarm yeah. thing again. I would know that, but I was just curious for... Uh, right. Yeah, that'd be good to know for the future. This was eight hours. <laughs> eight hours, okay. So you yeah. you probably... Ha- I'd say you have about... Uh, Around there. Yeah, I'd say you have about four hours on it left. So even after they set it off? Yeah. I'd say she's got uh, another four hours left on it for alarm. I don't think we can hear you, Micah. You answered my question. Uh, it's one of those things where like, I, I think I hear you through, uh, through uh, her mic. I don't know, that's weird. Anyway. So, you guys are making your way back toward the town. And a- as you do, you, you see uh, a couple extra uh, zoo pirates kind of like uh, rushing on uh, down the road. At, and as It's still kind of dark, so they, they're they just kind of like bumbling as they do so, but they, they got some kegs with them. And... Uh, one of them just kind of like rushing on ahead, a little frantic. Hmm. Walk around them, let them, you know, step out their path. And they're like, hey, bite, gotta go. And uh, give them a nod. <laughs> All right. So as they uh, go on up to the party, you just see. You kind of like turn around. You see one of them just kind of like pushing his way through. You're not sure what's got this guy in such a hurry. It's a bit. Cons- We're on our way back now, right? Yes. Yeah. But you would see this from your servant. Um, I would probably see him running in at some point. Yeah. All right, so it, it takes you guys about an hour to uh, make your way back. And uh, when you get there, you find uh, Akisu and Rory waiting. Mm, little, little dark. Is it guys the nod as we walk up? I'll be like, well, so what did you get from the shit mint place? What did you get from the cave? I got lots of stuff. A bunch of snacks, too. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Some snacks. Oh, yeah. Say, oh, snacks. Yeah. <laughs> we like, I ate it. <laughs> What'd you get? I got snacks. Oh, let me have some. They're gone. No, <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> have a big stomach. Did anything happen of like importance or just I kind of like is Darius okay? Yes, cool. He's on my shoulder. Here I am. <laughs> I miss you so much, little man. I was thinking he just had kind of like this glazed over look, just like this woman really just sat on a table. <laughs> just the like uh, I, I'm just gonna hang over with with you guys. Like, and then he just kind of like <laughs> l- looks. You wash your hands after you sh- after you poop, right? So me. <laughs> he uh, he kind of like looks to you and Snyder. I, 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 I look out at him. 
Washing, Washing hands is a myth. You think I could keep my fur so white without washing it? I mean, I'm a doctor, so I kind of, I'm kind of required to. <laughs> Don't be silly. This is a myth. You're literally a fish man. What do you? You're wet all the time. I don't want to hear it. Why would I wash my hands? That'll be ridiculous. You're just a walking damp towel. Your life is a shower. Exactly. <laughs> the ocean is nature's bathtub. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Honestly, uh, bathing is such a foreign concept to a fish man. <laughs> we're, we're living water. <laughs> I love it. It's great. Okay, so what are you guys going to do? We want to, I mean, hey, we can, we can, we can do this. Yeah. Give you guys the rundown of what we learned and what's going on. I want to look through the crates that we obtained. All right. So you go up to the crates, and I, I believe we said, like, one has a bunch of these uh, extra time in, uh, not time in, uh, extra zoo pirate uh, cowls and the little cloth uh, things and, like, uh, other little bits of garments and accessories that the uh, that they use like a whole load of extras. I would be like, "Oh, guys, we can impersonate the zoo pirates." Oh hell yeah, disguises. That's a fucking good idea. What the? F <laughs> <laughs> Shows up to. Uh, There's no one here, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you look into uh, one of the other crates. You you can see that it had already been torn open a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it's just uh, guns. Gun guns everywhere. Like rifles, <laughs> pistols. Well, it looks like we are well armed for any future endeavors. I... I'm just um, not working on the ship. All right. Well, I'm also cooking for tomorrow. You know, getting ready. It's kind of probably kind of late. Let him cook. Let him cook. Yeah. I have my familiar keeping watch and you know being a spy, so I'm trying. Yeah. So as you go uh, below deck towards the kitchen, you, you kind of pass a a little kind of a a bed area. And you just uh, see Rory just fast asleep in a hammock. No, uh, my boy, I'm so proud. I'm just gonna kind of put my hands on the wall as I look in, kind of give him a nod. <laughs> give him a nod to the sleeping people. Yeah, sweet dreams, young one. It's the night of fatherly approval. Exactly. <laughs> the, the real fantasy. Make sure you're asleep. <laughs> There's no boy under them pillows. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hear the battle music while the DS is closed. <laughs> uh, back in my day, we didn't keep a Game Boy under the pillow. We kept a gun. <laughs> That's when the real games begin. My nighttime plaything was a gun, and we played Russian roulette. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, no joke, I know someone who's done that and didn't die. Yeah, yeah I'm just going to kind of head to my room, uh, or head to the kitchen, start kind of pulling out the, the fish that I caught for, you know, today, kind of get everything ready for tomorrow. How does that make you feel that you cook fish? I, you know, I lived in the ocean. We eat fish. Yeah. Fish is our food. You are fish. The fish are friends and food. Yeah, that's part of fish. I'm built different, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it would technically only be cannibalism if he ate other fishmen. Exactly. 
What if you ate other like uh seeds? What if you like, like like do you eat like rabbits? No. Who eats rabbits? Oh what do you mean? That's a common thing. Not me. Not me. I mean, I guess maybe. I eat fish that you cook because I'm a rabbit. Exactly. <laughs> I'll be cooking. I'll be cooking. If you cooked rabbit, I'd be like, <gasps> What do you think those stews are made out of? It's just my stew. stew. Oh my god. Dun, 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 dun. No. <laughs> I, I honestly didn't, and I'm very, like, Heartbroken at the moment. Oh, Chibi. Speaking of which, you did design the ship. Uh, what is uh, Tonga's uh, kitchen area? How's that look? Um, it's like long. Uh, no Ghibli like kitchen setup, please. <laughs> like, like full like Howl's Moving Castle. Like, I was thinking those old stoves, you know, that like go out of there, like kind of chimney esque. And then, like, long tables. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice. well, hell yeah. I have, I have like, like, racks of, like, huge fish. Mm-hmm. And then, like, weird ones in jars and stuff. They have, like, pans on hooks on the wall. Yeah. Yeah, I'd imagine that, as far as Tonga's concerned, it's like, damn. It's nice having his own yeah. kitchen. I I'd even that. imagine that, like, I have, like, another kind of, like, it looks like a walk-in. You go in there and it's like my devil fruit research. Yeah, you have like a little pantry area. And it's then like I have like aquarium slash lab. Yeah. Yeah. And then like another room that's like my bladesmithing, you know. Yeah. And I have like a back pantry where I do my brewing. You know, shit like that. So you just have like a these little uh, cabinet areas. It's like you should be storing food here, but you just store of your various works and things. yeah instead of storing food because i catch everything that i make i store you know my other trades <laughs> my other you know, other you know, avenues i will say for the sake of a crew you'll want to store more rations than just what you catch for the day well, yeah but then that's, that's what kind of what we've been doing now that we have all these crates we even building like more storage and stuff. Okay, well, that makes sense. You have to redo like half the ship. Yeah, we're gonna have to build it. <laughs> yeah, she still has that hole that Woodrow put through the fucking side. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to like dye the wood, <laughs> like crush berries or something. Uh, that, <laughs> a whole sh- a whole ship though. Yeah, mix it with water, start painting the wood. A good stain would be like coffee. Yeah, true. You'd have coffee. Still, that's a whole ship. Well, they're on to us. (laughs) I feel like that would somehow be quicker than actually building it. Yeah. Well, Mm. that's what we're doing. She did say that she was going to be going around the ship kind of like fixing here uh, what you what you can uh give me a roll okay with your uh with your, to- with your tool uh proficiency because uh, you get the power okay first. and i also oh wait a minute i just realized something mm-hmm. well, that, that, that's, a, that's a pretty damn good roll actually damn. <laughs> uh, I, I was just thinking that you also have the uh what is it? The your pirate prestige. I, I oh forget, yeah, I forget, I forget what that ability is for the shipwright, but oh but, yeah, what does it do? No, I think it's it? for like repairing stuff. I wouldn't want to use it now. At any rate, with with a that's well that's over twenty. So you're like just rushing around, and you're able to get things to. It's not complete by any means, but mm-hmm. you can sail the ship now. Oh, okay. Nice. Was I able to change the appearance effectively at all? Uh, you've managed to kind of like uh, set up some sails because, like, uh, 
that was one of the things that you had been kind of putting off because you're like, okay, I, I just I need a good structure, make everything yeah strong first before getting things to a point where it's movable. Mm -hmm. As well as a lot of like internal, like just uh, quality of life things. It, it's kind of like when you go into a house and like it's not fully like uh, done up on the inside. Like, it's the mold. You see a place that's being renovated. Bones. <laughs> This place got good bones. <laughs> Every middle-aged white homeowner. <laughs> the lady we met about that room. <laughs> yeah. Put a lot of good work in. <laughs> uh, we should have seen this place before. <laughs> they say that every time. Hell, I got that uh, speech from my uh, grandmother-in-law, and she literally did nothing to the place. Like, I came in, and it was basically, like, destroyed when I moved in. <laughs> and it's not <nothing laughs> better now. <laughs> hey, she did a lot of work. It wasn't good, but... It wasn't good work, but it was work. <laughs> <laughs> to, to put it mildly, I was very critical of any work that was done. But, you know. Mo moving on. <laughs> You guys are able to move the ship. Nice. We could try and move it to, like, the opposite coast. Yeah. And with the sails, like, I'm sure it'll be unrecognizable. So, like, yeah. the other ones. Yeah, the, the, right now, the key most recognizable features are the figurehead, which is of a elephant, the hole in the side, and the fact that it wasn't really sailed up properly before. Yeah. I'll also park it amongst other ships, so it's kind of, like, hidden in plain sight. Alright, uh, give me a... Give me a... Um... Hmm. A stealth roll for a ship. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Would it be parking it? Parking? You're trying docking, to... docking, docking, docking. Yeah. A twenty, thirty, twenty. Go, go ahead, Snyder. Make your docking joke. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have that in my country. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with, with a dirty twenty, you you managed to uh, kind of set the sail, kind of like ride the late night winds in. Get yourself uh, positioned off to like the other side of uh, the harbor, and the kind of nestle yourself firm. in between a few of the ships. And as you do, like there is a, a kind of a night watch dude that just uh, comes on up to, uh, to you guys as, as you're kind of tying the ship down and whatnot. Docking fee. How much? He looks it up. Well, that's going to be 30,000 berry. 30,000? 30, yeah, yes, 30,000. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this for the night or for like a period of time? Because 30,000 seems a lot just for a night. It'll do for the month. Mm. Oh, I see. How much for a couple weeks? Uh, just a couple weeks. We'll do 15. Uh, How much money do I do, do, do. Uh, I know bare minimum, Akisu has like well over a million berry. Like, yeah. Uh, Hey, Mike. Yeah, I'll pay for it. I think I have like three million, three, four million. Not gonna lie, I was gonna, I was about to try and haggle this motherfucker down to like yeah, five thousand. Like in materials and loot and stuff. I was gonna be like, I just built this ship, and I'm still working on it. So, is Chibi going to try to like work through the night to just make it look as complete as possible? Yes. All right, I love it. Ooh. 
I really need to turn off. <laughs> oh, I thought you were adding that for effect. <laughs> a little bit, me too. I think that's legit just my phone notification. If I was adding something for effect, it'd be like. I thought you were like cutscene music. Next scene. <laughs> no, I, I got other things for that. Shit, I should have been using so that all, more. That's good. Can we all get a long rest except for Chibi? Um, yeah. So, with Chibi, she'll get like a half rest because she's kind of like, she's working through the night, but like, yeah, she, so she can recover like, uh, like she would from a sh short rest. Sure. Why don't we get a long rest? I could, I could help to have like, yeah building skill if you guys want to help in like uh, kind of facilitate everything no, i'll be cooking and working on my uh the like blades and stuff is this a new day then yeah, yeah. Uh, oh my god i wish you could stop up yeah, i want like, to punch I'll myself in the fucking mouth yeah and then i'll work through. yeah yeah some after a few hours of hammering away all over the ship, like uh, Rory just kind of wakes up. And, uh, what what's she doing out there? My best. <laughs> my best. I want to try my. Be asking. Like uh, he was just a, uh, like just asking anyone nearby. So like uh, Aki Su Snyder. Oh yeah, because like, he he knows Tonga's in the kitchen because he can hear uh, yeah kind of, like a uh, banging pots and pans and whatever back there, like little chopping sounds. Well, young boy, we uh. She's <laughs> just constantly fluctuating different voices. I think most of the time that Snyder has talked, it's always been like a a little bit older on the like a you know like maybe in his face. <laughs> suddenly like an eighty year old man. Like <laughs> rapidly as we're. <laughs> He, he just feels every it. day you just get old. <laughs> <laughs> Got the Benjamin buttons. <laughs> well, um, we moved to a different side of the island because the 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 ship got discovered, got kind of, and now we're trying to lay low. All right. Um, by the way, Mister Snyder. Could you teach me how to patch people up? I think that might be very helpful in the future. Oh, I absolutely, absolutely. Anything to 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 carry on the craft of doctoring. I thought you were going to be like anything for you, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> anything for you. <laughs> the craft of doctoring. Very Timmy. <laughs> so uh, Rory's like awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, if you're gonna be a doctor, you're gonna have like a doctor's office. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Throws you on the table. Ooh. Hey yo. <laughs> He's gonna have just a <laughs> sorry. All I heard was that kitchen table. <laughs> He's gonna have a table. It's just a table in a fucking blank white room. <laughs> like the leg wobbles a little bit. Just get thrown on the on the table in the kitchen. Tonga, I need your best surgical cutlery. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's just, it's just the... <laughs> and you're like, it's just a paper cut. <laughs> Just like okay, sorry, sorry, Rory, we're gonna have to amputate your arm. What do you mean? <laughs> Let one heart, I, I will heart say surgery. For, I will say for future reference that amputation is absolutely a possibility. Y'all are pirates, and I have some excellent prosthetics planned out for if anyone loses a limb. I have Fuck a question. Yeah. Does that mean that we can use like uh, leeches and stuff? <laughs> yeah, I'm this would be the time. Tom doctor. Oh my god, can I give a child cocaine? Are you all? Do you also cut hair? Because I got a Sky lot. Island doctor. He does a lot of things. 
<laughs> I'm like a 1920s American doctor just shoveling coke. In. You have a brain tumor. Have Thanks, it. Fucking all of you. you know, cocaine is still legal on the Sky Islands. <laughs> Speaking of, oh my cocaine, god, didn't Tonga pick up Speaking drugs of like in the last session? Um, what I know, Aki soon picked up a crate of a strange green powder. Yeah, what was that? Can we investigate that? I mean, I'm working in my shop, but can they investigate that? <laughs> yeah, could I make like a, a medicine check on it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Go right ahead. To see if it has any properties that I could potentially use. Let me go check it out. You can bring it. Like, you know. Okay, so I'm not in the yeah, area. Yeah, please give me a medicine check on that. Uh, normal. Fuck. <laughs> it was on the eleven for a second. <laughs> uh, Nobody trusts a doctor. Uh, uh, seven. I rolled a four. So you kind of inspect it. You've never seen anything like this before. And, and like you kind of like kind of grab it a little bit, kind of sprinkle it around like like hmm, not not really sure. You go to taste it and like a, as you do, like it's just like just like a, you know just to kind of like get a little feel of like okay, what is this? And like it has a bit of an ashy taste to it, but you can kind of like feel like a the powder absorbing moisture from your tongue. Bait it. Wait, Wait what? 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 No, not like oh powder. yeah, I, I kind of just went. Like, like it's like how cops ta- uh, yeah. test <laughs> cocaine. Yeah. It's just it's poison. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm I want to take uh, a small bit of it. And then I want to I wanna try catching it on fire. See if it's combustible. Wait, what did it taste like? Like ash. Ashiness. Bullshit. I think bullshit. Okay, got it. <laughs> Not good for food. <laughs> okay, you try to light it, and, like, a, it's not really... It, it, is a, it is a powder, but it's a little bit too granular to... Be, to get like that fine powder combustion. No bad words. So it's not like a sulfur, uh, like a sulfuric gunpowder material where it would combust. Oh. Hmm. After kind of handling it for a little bit, you do notice that your hands feel rather dry. But you could just chalk that up to like, well, you've been handling like this really powdery substance. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Anything else that you want to try with it? Since I did notice it was sucking up uh, a bit of moisture, I'll try dumping water on it. Like the the portion that I had that I was trying to light on fire. Okay, so you take a little bit of it and you just kind of like pour a little bit of water on it, and it just like it, it seems to just kind of uh, like mix with it and just it, it's all like diluted, but like it kind of uh, gets a little misty. Like it just mm. like mist. Like, Smell it. Like a steam. Yeah, almost like a little bit of a. a hmm. Uh, give give me a nature check. Uh, for in your case, with advantage. Mallet. Put it in your butt. Put it in your butt. <laughs> I like more. And a nineteen. You huh? You're pretty quiet. That, like, it, I, it be, kind of, like, I hear you. I can do like it, naturally, it, not through your mic. After kind of like uh, messing around with it and pouring like a little bit of water on it, you you notice that like. The room around you seems rather dry as, like, this little mistiness kind of, like, forms around uh, your hands. And you are particularly familiar with this as it's very similar to the clouds from home. 
Hmm. I feel like so, I could be working on the ship and I just hear you like <laughs> so, just stunned from poisoning. <laughs> um so from what I'm gathering, it's kind of like uh like a dehydrated cloud. Oh, it's on the back. Your best guess. Given yeah. Given given my knowledge of the sky. <laughs> the, the culmination is like, hmm. It it it's somehow cloud related. It says blah, bullshit written all over it. <laughs> Reminds me of home. <laughs> Ashy, but home. <laughs> All right. Do you do anything oh. else besides uh, fuck around with green powder? Uh. No, I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Deducing the green powder was my goal. <laughs> And I'm going to have Rory uh, try to help Chibi. But, like, he ends up just kind of, like, uh, hammering. Like, as he tries to hammer away at a couple oh, little man. things to help patch a hole, he kind of gets his thumb. <laughs> and then it comes rushing back to uh, Snyder. <laughs> Snyder? <laughs> he kind of, like, what? holds up his to you and you see like a, his thumbnails like all black underneath <laughs> and oh my, oh my god no oh my god boy what'd you do I was trying to help Chibi with the ship and I you gotta be quick like a mink I'm not very quick like a mink <laughs> when it comes to <laughs> when this, when it comes thumbnails to black with the... oh, oh. <laughs> Jesus oh jeez well, that's not going to go away for at least a while, so, um, give, give me your thumb, and I start and I start wrapping a bandage around it and yeah. making sure it's yeah, keep the swell. secured. I'm just going to start biting it. <laughs> just look like he can't see it. Just he stops freaking out like kids be. I'm sorry. That's half the battle, honestly. Have to amputate. What? <laughs> <laughs> just sorry, boy. Come here. I need to see that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just for, like biting. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my my bad. It looked like a toe. <laughs> I got a rumbly in my tummy that only Rory thumbs can satisfy. <laughs> <laughs> We've asked uh, brooding children to eating children. It's like Chopper, how he's reserved for food if anything happens. It's crazy out here. Uh, the North oh, is like... a very unregulated place. <laughs> Meanwhile, Tonga's cooking real food. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Snyder's <so, laughs> over there just like drooling at the thought. <laughs> I'm just like... Uh, so, <laughs> so get, given that you have had most of the day and all the night to get everything in order with the ship, I, I will say that it is, uh, as long as you have something figured out for the mast, uh, for your masthead to kind of like disguise that, you should be sufficient. Uh -huh. I wanted to keep it an elephant, but just kind of more detail it to make it look different, like a different. So that way I can justify it by like the real reason and be like, oh yeah, it's me, Chibi. And I chose this because it's from Zo. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe you could give it tusks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well there. Well, however you want to do it. Yeah. You had a good Holy time. Fuck. And uh, because most of the pirates are going to be all hungover from the previous night, you'll have most of the day. Yeah. And with that, 
Okay, so everyone got, uh, except Chibi, got a long rest, so all their abilities uh, recovered and everything. Well, I'm going to, you know, with the, when I wake up in the morning or whatever, I'm going to call my familiar back to me. I'm going to dispel it and everything. And I want to learn what it learned through the night. Okay, so after a brief respite, well, a brief moment of uh, telepathic communication, you learn yeah. that there, the guys that showed up toward the end of everything uh, brought some news to the captain, and he started went full lion, roaring with his rage and kind of breaking shit after the fact oh. that when he found out that someone, quote, took a shit uh, in their school. <laughs> Are you announcing this to everybody as you learn it? Yeah, yeah I'll say, like, yeah. in the morning, I'm giving you guys a recap of, like, what I learned and what I'm familiar with. Whenever, whenever... The game of parents actually in the ship house because we didn't do that. I'm just gonna like smile like you, but I'm just gonna kind of like shoot an eye towards the hockey suit and giggle and keep exploiting people. No, I have a feeling <laughs> you you were the one that went there. I would know you went there. <laughs> no. I told you to go there. If the shit, someone the literally must have quit. Someone literally took a dump on our parade. <laughs> no more. And then, uh, yeah, and so, and I'll tell, like, whatever else. Oh, that, you know, that they're suspicious of the other pirates. And, you know, they said that they were going to go to war, see what they have to do. They seem pretty pissed, all right? <laughs> so it worked. Definitely work. Hell yeah. Was there anything else of, of note, Orion? Well, Darius kind of uh, pipes up and he, he's like, well, you see, the thing is, uh, we, I still have to rescue my family. You, know, the, the, you guys seem to be like you're trying to sow chaos and discord, but I do need to go check on them. They, the, the guy I was working for previously, he, uh, he wanted to kind of sow discord on the island too, just to kind of having uh, some of the family members of uh, the pirate crews blaming each other for things in the market. You, you saw that the other day, and as it as a result, I I I I don't know exactly what his plan is, but like he he's trying to like stir stir the pot. I have to get back to that. He he's going to be mighty suspicious if I'm gone for much longer. I'll kind of give him a nod. Thank you for your help. I'll miss you. Goodbye, my little friend. And he gives you a little nod, and he just uh, scampers off. Darius has exited the party. So brave. Why don't we help him rescue his family? If it's his own path. <laughs> we cannot interfere. What his mission is. You're like, thanks for your help, loser. Bye. What's the whole thing of him joining us? Is he going to help us on our own? Yeah, but Probably. he's like, it's taking too long, basically. Do we need? Does, does he need our help? Does he have his own stuff going on? Yeah, he wanted our help with it. Yeah, and we haven't helped him. What do we need to do? I don't know. He's oh, gone now. Oh. You can call out to him. You got a bunch. He's fine. You got it. He knows where to find us. He said, You're taking too long. Hey, look, man, we got our own shit going on, all right? You can't drop what we're doing to help you. Why did he even help us in the first place? He was with the vibe, all right? <laughs> he was with the vibe. You guys did capture him. <laughs> yeah. True. That is fair. Yeah, but then we let him go. He he captured him. He was free to leave. That is true. He did just kind of hang out with us. 
He could have left like that entire time. Yeah, but he was mean. after for like the first hour. And you guys did help him so disappointed throughout the time. didn't say anything about it the entire time. Yeah, we had similar goals as to turn the pirates to each other, so. Yeah, so like. Technically, we did goal. help them. Yeah, it's parallel goals. It's, it's a weird situation, but parallel goals. We just didn't get the slaves of his brothers away from him. <laughs> Where are they? Do we know? He knows, but he doesn't. He didn't even tell us. He did mention previously that there was a, a guy that was running a stall in the market that had been sabotaging other stalls to kind of cause issues, but he didn't mention which one. Yeah, that's not helpful. But like, I don't know what he wants to do. Right? <laughs> uh, like, you, and then he was like, nah, taking too long. Yeah, I mean, do me a favor faster. And then, like, that's yeah, like now, now that your stuff is gone or done, I'm leaving. All right, all right, good luck. Good luck up there. <laughs> well, his biggest uh, issue was checking on his family. Yeah, yeah. So let him go check on his family. Hey. Let him know if he needs their help. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like we'd draw suspicion if we were to go with him. Yeah. And, What's this about this little homie having issues with uh, his family being all captured and shit? <laughs> that ain't my damn business. I don't give a fuck. Do it with me. <laughs> that Hold on, I'm like a you problem. <laughs> we get, we're we trying to get bounties, all right? We're trying to get rich out here. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But like, <laughs> if he needs us, he'll tell us. <laughs> well, he does know where to find you guys. One way. Yeah, exactly. Oof. He's sneaky enough. He knows, you know. Hope he doesn't get captured again. <laughs> but, you know. Honestly, the only reason he got captured is because she moves so fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got his ass. All right. So, Super fat bubby. What is the plan for y'all now that you've managed oh, to man. hide your ship and Darius has run off to make sure his affairs are in order with his family? I guess we can see what's going on with the the other pirate group. Time to check on the pirate. Yeah. Where they're located? Uh, you know what? Let's see. Uh, I, I would say I probably know. I'll let Chibi and Tonga uh, give me a history check. I was about to say, because we've only really interacted with the zoo pirates, so... Yeah, like, I mean, like, I've lived here, so... Seven. You said history? Yep. Yes. Your knowledge of the area. <laughs> Eight. Eight. Yeah, uh, neither of you know exactly where they're at, but you do know that they tend to hang around some of the night market area during the evenings, as well as uh, they're pretty easy to spot wearing their uh, bow ties, uh, as they do. Bow ties? Yes, bow ties, uh, tie ties. Uh, did did we go to the side of the island that we like know that is their general area? Uh, you guys had gone to the opposing side. You see, the island is kind of like split in into like two separate districts. So right. The you were on. You spent most of your time on the zoo pirate side. So the right. Right. So now we're on the yeah. So you you know the exit. Okay, so we're right where we want to be. Yeah. Right, right on this side that we're on now. Yeah. Nice. Perfect. You All right. So I went ahead. Family members within the uh, market community that uh -huh. are family of well, Time Empire. Time Empire. Well, now that it's, you know, a new morning, I would like to spend a few hours and go fishing and looking for, uh, you know, anything new in this area. I don't normally fish on this side of the island. So, yeah, I'm going to spend some time doing that. And then I'll maybe head to the market. 
Uh, give me a uh, survival check with advantage for your bare hand fishing. I'm gonna do my morning ritual. You see me standing on the bow of the ship, kind of doing deep breaths. My light glows bright, and then I dive in. <laughs> Man overboard. It looks like a 19. That's good. That's good. You go in and you you find yourself like kind of like swimming around. And there's uh, some rather there's a large school of tuna. Like, hey. Damn, clicky. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, she's writing right a book. I, I was wondering about that for a moment. I, I know that you mentioned <laughs> you were going to take more notes, and I really appreciate that. <laughs> it's so loud. <laughs> like those uh she she's like the the person that go, goes to court and just like okay let, let me just uh, type this Oh the stenographer. <laughs> let me let me just steno stenograph uh, this uh, D&D campaign. <laughs> they have their own like, special the stuff guys. Yeah, they have like uh special keystrokes that are just designated to entire words. That makes sense. Kind of it's a very like a simplified keyboard too. Damn, you'd have to like train for like a month just to be good at that though. I think they do go to like some sort of class for it. You would have to. There, there's no way that someone just wakes up and starts stenography over and over. It's like how uh, auctioneers go to class too. There's an auctioneer class. Because <laughs> mm -hmm, they have to, yeah, they have to build a cadence because it's kind of like rapping in a sense. I'm gonna go. You got bars. Because you have to go in a, like a kind of a fucking cadence, and then it picks up, and then you add in syllables. Okay. You can train to be a stew master to make Brunswick stews. I just want you guys to know that. It's a tight end. Stew master. So there's a whole lot of these classes. Can someone just give me a... a What's the Brunswick uh, stew? What was the auctioneer class for D&D? &D? <laughs> <laughs> it's just... It's a bard subclass where you just talk at people really fast. Yeah, they get... <laughs> your spoken word culture. Like vicious uh, mockery is just dizzying people with your fast words. <laughs> It, it, alternatively, it's known as the M and M subclass. Your bars, <laughs> just, your bars are just too quick. All right. So moving uh, from here, like it seems like you're pretty tired, dude. Oh, we can add. Oh no, I'm just yawning. I don't know why I am. Okay. I'm not tired. I'm just yawning. No <laughs> brain need air. Yeah, that is true. Apparently. Like I don't, I don't feel tired. That's what tired people say. But <laughs> yes, I mean, maybe. Yes. Who are you, my mom? No, she's dead. Yeah. But... <laughs> Reincarnation. Truck con to the rescue. <laughs> My mom got isekai. <laughs> that sounds like an isekai title. <laughs> it's just this boy on a on a search to find his isekai mother who just is not there anymore. <laughs> My mom got isekai in another world. And now I have to find her? <laughs> Question mark. My mom got just the isekai. whole title. <laughs> That's how animes are now. My mom got isekai as a goblin. What do I do now? That's the, that's the title. They're just like Fall Out Boy titles. They just keep getting longer. My mom isekai as the box truck. What do I do? <laughs> My mom was isekai as the demon lord. Now I'm the hero. It's like the canon Disney universe that your mom got isekai into. <laughs> uh, All right. I, I'm so put off because, like, this is usually around the time that we would uh, call it good for the session. And then, like, we were so on time with getting things going 
said. <laughs> I yeah, look at the clock did. and I'm like, good. wow, it's usually later. <laughs> Congratulations for not fucking up, everybody. Ooh. Woo! Woo! Hooray for no technical difficulties. Yeah. For my search. Honestly. So I think we you can end it all right there. And Wait, we are... Wait. What? Do I find anything special in my search? Uh, let's see. Let me roll for that. Do you find the all blue? Yeah. Like, in, in my search, it's like if I'm still in the sky while I'm fishing, within a few hours, I rolled a 19. Okay. Other than like schools, what like, So, in, in your search, you managed to no, find to, a to... a handful of mollusks, like uh, some little uh, little mussels. <laughs> a nice. you you found a school of tuna, so you're you're able to kind of like wrestle one of those big old uh, yellow tail tuna. Yellow. Ooh, sushi. And finally, the you find a couple sea urchins. Okay. Give them hats. <laughs> Give them hats. <laughs> so as, as you come back on, onto the ship, you uh, you kind of like roll up and just like you, everyone turns her over and they just see like this massive fish, like about the, as, as big as you are, flop right down on to the deck. How many, How many sea urchins? Uh, you find uh, two sea urchins. Okay. Look, you best put it off on the use for these things. <laughs> See, you're Those are total balls. Yeah, you take the toxins. They're also really good for, um, like, sushi, like unagi. Exactly. Yeah, you got options. You can eat them. She's raw. Cook them in our lunch for today. I don't know. Or I'll sell them. Where did you eat sea urchin? I mean, you know, I dive pretty deep. Went down to the bottom of this area. Found a few. These ones are pretty perfect, honestly. No broken spines or anything. Rory uh, kind of like goes over, like that's that's pretty cool. Oh shit! I I just remembered. I I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go meet up with. Uh, insert names here. I had them written down. <laughs> I write them down in this. Sentence. I had to go meet with redacted. Yeah, you need like a said sound so you can just. Yeah. The, then, got dang stenographers again, redacting everything. Okay, so yeah, Rory is meeting up with Wes and Tilly. Oh. oh, before Rory leaves, I wanted to give him the uh, the red mark pearl that I found. Oh, what's this, Tonga? I don't know. I found, maybe you can uh, some information. See if you know what this is or what this means. Sure. Watch me take a shit on a table. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Most likely. She's oh, like, this crew is fucking weird. <laughs> given what happened last time, maybe I shouldn't go alone. Uh, do you guys want to go with me? Uh, what? Wes and Tilly are the people that uh, I was working that job with to steal the alcohol. Uh, but uh, then, then I got caught, and uh, I, I wasn't going to throw them under the bus. Uh, you, you know how it is, Tonga. Like, uh, you, there's a code. Well, if uh, if one of us doesn't go with you, I want to do some chopping. Maybe Chief could uh, tell you. I could send you with my new familiar. You could talk to it. I can speak to you, or we can give you a transponder snail. It's up to you. I mean, I'm I'm not doing anything on the ship. I'm I'm free to go. There you go. Take Snyder with you. Awesome. Come on, Mister Snyder. Yay, adventure! Besides, I need someone to vouch for me because you know. Snitches get stitches, and I know. I'm you know what? I don't think they they've met you yet, Snyder. So this may be a good good time for you to uh, meet meet new people. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, learn customs and do things that ground people do. But what do sky people do? I I suppose the same thing ground people do, but in the sky. 
It's called braces. <laughs> Groundies. <laughs> uh, fucking grounder with a ho- yo. What's up, my grounder? <laughs> That's a hard R. <laughs> grounder Lucy with a- people. Then, then, as like Rory's getting ready to uh, step onto the little uh, plank thing uh, off the ship to the dock, he he uh, kind of looks over towards the box full of guns. He's like, "Wait a minute!" And he kind of like. Jumps and dives in, kind of like a, pulls out a pistol. <laughs> hey, Oxu, can I have this? <laughs> yeah, sure, kid. What? Did you have to protect themselves. Yeah, I think it's about time where he gets his own weapon. <laughs> this, is, this is your coming of age story. <laughs> Give it to give it to Schneider, not the kid. <laughs> Man, he's old enough. He's gonna be with us. We have to keep him safe. He's got to be able to get himself. No. I might as well take one as well. Fuck it. <laughs> Look at me, Rory. Give him the finger. Kind of get down on my knee. You give him the finger? <laughs> you <laughs> fuck you. Come here. Sorry. Give, him the, give him the I'm serious. Pay attention to me, finger. Don't, don't, don't shoot yourself. Don't, don't point it at your friends. Don't. Only people who meant to do harm or annoy you. Or who you need money from. You know, the situation situation calls for what the situation calls for, but you be responsible. All right. Uh, is he's kind of like uh, kind of like looking at the gun over? Um, I I heard there's supposed to be like a safety on these things. <laughs> he's kind of like I'm gonna use fingers. That's not my that's not my forte. I'm I'm a blade master, Mr. Captain. But all I know is you point and you shoot. You know, and don't shoot yourself. So, chop right. that thing away. And, and he's just kind of like, and you say that as he's kinda uh, like uh, putting, kind of like peeking down the barrel. Like, oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah. If if you want really one of my guns, talk to Aki. She likes to shoot things. Yeah, uh, Aki has got to know a lot about guns. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I kind of give a pat on the. I'm proud of you, Danny Percy. Be safe out there. We're gonna need you. You're one of us. All right. I stopped talking because I realized that they didn't take the ammo before they left. So. Well, they haven't. <laughs> I assume some them. of these guns have been loaded. <laughs> he he does true. go to grab at least like a little pouch full of ammo. Damn. Yeah, a pouch full of ammo. I mean, like a a horn of, of gunpowder. We load in a lot of these guns. Like, we had like a full night and morning. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm going, going shopping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rory kind of like uh, packs his pistol and uh, takes off with Snyder for the, uh, for the, yeah, to to meet up with the, the people, the Tilly and Wes, yes. And I think that's a good spot to end things off with because moving into uh, everyone just kind of going off and doing yeah. their own things next set. Rough throat center. <laughs> yeah, you, you do have a rough throat. So, there is that. It's my birthday. No. birthday. How the fuck do you not mention that before? How old are you? 25. You know, it's uh, funnier than 24. <laughs> yeah, I do. 25. <laughs> What's funnier than 44? 45. Yeah. I'm gonna get that on my cake this year. Does that mean people from Texas are dumb? I was born in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> my dad was born in Germany. There's way worse jokes when you're born in Germany. Oh, jeez. Uh, mm. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well. That's that guy. Guy. Thanks for listening, everybody. We had some viewers tonight. That's that's always a fun thing. We love to have you. It's been. A I imagine time. we talk about shitting on the table and they just leave. <laughs> <laughs> or someone tunes in at that moment. They're like, "Ooh." Oh, like, what are you talking about? I took a shit on the table, right? <laughs> They're like, "I could get down with this." All right. We'll see you all next time. It's been great having you. Peace. Peace.